You know, and, and I think that when we talk about sex, there's this narrative that they, they we all jump on their bandwagon <clears throat> and their narrative, which is these women and their libidos. Yeah, so? Like, we have to stop feeding into this narrative that it's somehow awful to be a sexual being, to enjoy your sexuality, to want to be responsible with your sexuality. Yeah. You know what? I actually enjoy sex. And you know what? Yeah. I, I like to protect myself so that I don't get pregnant because I have looked inside myself for my many years on earth and said, you know what? I'd be an awful mother. <laughs> and so to prevent that from happening to the world around us, I think I'll use birth control. And oh, guess what? It's something that is good for the economy. You know, you listed off a, a myriad of things. If you don't look at birth control as a public health issue, as a public policy issue, people have sex every day. There was never a golden age of abstinence. That never happened yeah. in our world, <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, so so to, to, to act like sex isn't like some uh, sexuality and sexual humans are not part of a narrative and conversation in a healthcare plan, we're, they're just scary. I guess what they're just trying to prove over and over again is that their sex lives are so miserable that they're going to do everything in their power to just beat the drum of repression. I don't know what else to say. Well, um, 